hey guys welcome back to my channel as always guys thanks for clicking on this video i really do appreciate it happy sunday guys i hope you guys are resting and relaxing and cooking up some nice sunday dinner and just enjoying the sunday guys i'm just gonna get straight into this video so guys i went over facebook and i went on mr handsome page aka girly and he was talking about charities out here in jamaica and he talked about three good charity out here in jamaica he mentioned erica the landlord because we all know that erica the landlord feed the homeless he mentioned the we believe ministry i believe zazan is the one that is running that charity and he mentioned anti dana charity so guys i can get where he is coming from because he's saying that those are the charity that is doing good in jamaica that he would tell people about and basically to put it out there for people to see and donate to them and i can get where he is coming from because all of us other guys a lot of people out here in jamaica get up with this charity charity mentality and a lot of them is not honest a lot of them is not open and a lot of them is in it for the money now it is very good that they're trying to do charity and trying to help people but they are making charity look so bad in jamaica and you know what they can take a page out of auntie dana book because what i always know auntie dana always said to persons out there that is doing charity auntie dana tell them to be very honest very open and transparency and put everything out in phone show the receipt show the donors money and all of that guys i don't know much about charity out here in jamaica and i don't know a lot of charity out here in jamaica i just know about auntie dana a charity because that is the charity that i follow up on that is the charity that i watch and that is the charity that touched my heart a lot of times guys auntie donna has done so many things in jamaica and helped so many people she started off her charity in her community mountain view but as time goes by, she branched off in other community and other places and helped a lot of people out here in Jamaica. So I started watching Auntie Donna in 2019 when she just started out in her charity. And I know a lot of you guys watching Auntie Donna from 2019 and before 2019. And I also know that a lot of plankers just find out about Auntie Donna and just support him her so let us just go back to some of the good things auntie donna has done for the recipients on her program let's talk about some of the houses auntie donna built on her program guys i don't remember all of them because it's a lot but please fill me in if i miss out any in the comment section so auntie donna start off with board houses she built up three board houses. i don't remember the first one name that she built up but i know that she built up soji board house and she refurbished mr basso board house then she realized that the board house was not working out then she start building concrete houses i know that she built selene house miss joan house ratty children house Kwame's house Tracy's house julia's house miss marcia and her son marcus house trishana house a lot of houses guys and auntie donna did not just use her program to build houses auntie donna used her program to do so many things auntie donna blessed person with groceries with furniture with clothes with everything you can think of i know auntie donna and tammy faye have the grocery list that they do they give groceries to some of the recipients at one time auntie donna used her program to help university students with their school fees and not just university students alone she helped out a lot of people that is struggling with their school fees auntie donna used her program to keep back to school treat she gave out book vultures she gave out bags she gave out tablet she gave out laptop she gave out a lot of school stuff auntie donna also gave out food packages to persons that is in need auntie donna eva bless people out of her own pocket 
it's a lot guys auntie donna is doing a lot out here in jamaica she's doing so many good in jamaica she's helping so many people out here in jamaica and you know what guys not just auntie donna alone but the plankatarians and the donors are to be applauded as well because they are helping auntie donna to do a good job in jamaica they support everything that auntie donna is doing i know if auntie donna get up right now and says she to help that person there they're going to come on board and they're going to donate and they're going to support auntie donna because they know that their donation is going into a good and and they are seeing everything on the phone and as i mentioned guys a lot of charity is not that transparent and that is why a lot of people support auntie donna and that is why a lot of people watch auntie donna because she keep it real over there and they see that her heart is clean auntie donna is a good person and to me guys auntie donna have the best charity out here in jamaica because if auntie donna is helping somebody she's not gonna give them something that she would have take for herself if she gonna help them she gonna help them good and done and give them nothing but the best and i respect her for that because a lot of people don't see things like that a lot of people would have say i help them i get so them take what them get and a lot of people would have push out so much that auntie donna push out for the recipient because guys auntie donna push out her heart and her soul for some of these recipients on the program and they turn around to be very ungrateful towards auntie donna but i don't want to go into that i'm just glad auntie donna gets over that and she's past that stage and one thing I know Auntie Donna always say guys, her name cannot call on nothing. No recipient can come out and say that Auntie Donna held back on their money or no donors can come out and say Auntie Donna steal their money and I respect her for that. Guys, Auntie Donna is someone that I look up to. She inspired me and not only me, I know that she inspired a lot of people out here in Jamaica and around the world. And guys, to be honest, I think that is why people hate on auntie donna so much because all them a talk all them a try they cannot bring her down all them a kill up themselves they cannot be like auntie donna there is only one auntie donna out here in jamaica and she the right to 99 in a john shop a mountain view where she be at the nyambad kate them and she a build up her nice clean house where i got madonna out so auntie continue to do good don't stop doing good in jamaica and i know you said a lot of time you feel like stop doing charity because of what you go through but auntie donna you you can't stop charity because a lot of people out there are wait on you to come and bless them and to come and bring blessing in their life so big up your nice clean self auntie donna anyways guys that's all i had to say in this video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to comment down below guys make sure on a comment down below if you agree with what i am saying or not or just comment anything down below guys i am here for improvement as i said i'm not too old to learn so guys don't forget to subscribe and share my channel like the video as i click on it guys and enjoy the rest of the sunday big up on a nice clean self my subscribers and viewers i'm out